Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to see how we can import our custom map into the Carla simulator. Let's begin! If you go to the Carla documentation, specifically for the Unreal Engine 4 version, you will find a tutorial available that explains how to import a map into the Carla simulator. If you go to the documentation and search for map, you will get a result for custom maps. Click on that and you will see a couple of tutorials that show you how to build or import a map into your Carla simulation. Here we are using three options, or I should say three alternatives. First, we will see how to import a map into a Carla simulator that is built from source. Then, I will also explain some alternative ways to import a map. This section is specifically for a Carla simulation that is built from source. If you need to import a map into a packaged version of Carla, you will need to follow a different tutorial. This tutorial consists of three steps. Before you begin, you need to ensure that you are using a Carla simulation that is built from source, as I mentioned. Then, we will need at least two files, an XODR file and an FBX file. These are generated using a software called Roadrunner you can check out some older videos to see how we generated these files. We already have them, the Barcelona FBX and the Barcelona XODR. We are going to use these to import into Carla. Just follow along with me and I will explain more in detail. One thing you need to keep in mind is that the map name should be the same for both the XODR and the FBX file. That is an important thing to remember. You can also ingest multiple maps into the same package. Now I'm going to explain how to ingest a map into Carla. The first step is to place the map files you want to import into the import folder, which is located in the Carla root directory. The next step is to run the command make import. But before we do that, we need to create a JSON file. You can find instructions on how to create this JSON file by following the link provided here. Just click on this link. This will take you to the manual for package preparation. According to the tutorial, the JSON file should be created automatically, but in this case, we're going to create it ourselves. We'll focus on the standard map. The tutorial explains everything you need to know to complete this step. I'll place it side by side for clarity. Let's set up the folder structure as mentioned in the tutorial. Now, go to the Carla root folder and navigate to the import folder. You'll need to create a new folder there. Let's name that folder Barcelona. Now that the folder is ready, the next step is to create different subfolders for each map you want to import. The tutorial says to move the files of each map into the corresponding subfolder. So for each map, you'll need to move the FBX file, the XODR file, and any texture files associated with the map. Since we're only importing one map right now, we'll create one new subfolder here. Let's name it Barcelona as well. You can also name it Barcelona 1 inch or Barcelona 2 inches if you have multiple maps. It just depends on how many maps you want to import. I'll quickly copy the XODR file and the FBX file along with any texture files and then paste them into the corresponding subfolder. And that's it. The next step is to create a JSON file. Let's create the JSON file. To get started, we'll import the map package, which is called Barcelona. I'll create a new JSON file by creating a text document and changing its extension to JSON. Now I'll open this JSON file in Visual Studio Code so that I can easily edit it. Next, I'll follow the tutorial. They've provided a model or a template of the JSON file, so I'll copy that template and paste it into Visual Studio Code. Now, 
Now I need to edit it. Since we're only using one map in this tutorial, I'll delete the second map section. Our map is named Barcelona, so I'll name it accordingly. Now remember that the folder structure depends on where you place the JSON file. In this case, the XODR and FBX files are located one level above the current JSON file level. So you'll need to adjust the paths based on your map's name and your own directory structure. In my case, it's Barcelona, so I'll update both the XODR and FBX file paths accordingly. Once I'm done, I'll save the file. Now we're almost ready to import. I'm using the easiest method here, but there are other methods you can try as well. I'm going with this one for now. Next we need to run a command with some arguments. I'll copy the command from the tutorial. Then, I'll open the x64 native tools command prompt. Now let's navigate to where the Carla installation is located. I'm going to the Carla root folder. I'll just check if this is the correct folder. Yes, then I'll paste the make import command and also change the name of our package to Barcelona. Then I'll press enter. The map import process has started. There's an option to select an option here. I'll just select Python. I think it will work, so I'll select Python. Another window opens, and it's trying to process. Okay, now I've got an error. But I'll try once more and see how it goes. I think this time it will be successful. The commands are running. It will take some time, depending on how big your map is. I'm not going to show or wait for it to finish. I'll fast forward the video so I won't need to show the time it takes to import. As I said, the time it takes depends on the size of your map. So I'll skip forward in the video. Okay, now the import is complete. Okay. Now that the import is complete, we can launch the Carla simulator by running the command make launch. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully everything will work out. Just wait for the Unreal Engine editor to launch. It takes some time to launch the Unreal editor, as you may already know. Yes, the Unreal editor is open, and we can see our map package there, which is called Barcelona. If you go to the map folder, you can see our map. Barcelona. Just double click on the map and you can already see the map. It looks pretty nice. The Carla materials are already there and you can see the open drive file or rather the waypoints in Carla. There are some lines which are not yet joined. That is because of some issues with the open drive file. So we didn't do a perfect job in Roadrunner and that's why some lines are not joined. But you know, you can experiment with it. What I'm going to do now is show you the whole map. So the whole map looks like this, which is the same as the Roadrunner map we created. Now I'll just click on play. You can see that there's an error coming up with some red letters, like blueprint weather not found or something like that. I'll tell you how to correct that one too. Our simulator is now running, so you can just zoom in and out a little bit. Now what we can do is run some examples, like the Python API examples. I am just navigating to the Python examples folder. First, let's look at the example folder. You'll notice there are already a couple of examples available, so I'm going to run the manual control script. As you see on the screen, the Carla window launches, and we can see the Pygame window. If you press P, the autopilot will start. You can see the car is moving very smoothly without any issues. Remember, this is the OSM file, so it's quite similar to a real-world road. Now what we can do is also spawn some traffic along with this manual control. But before that, we need to correct that blueprint error. 
So if you go to the content folder and click on Carla, then go to Blueprints and select the Weather tab, then click on BP underscore Weather. The Blueprint will open, and we need to add our new map, which is called Barcelona, to the list of maps there. If you scroll down, you'll see some default weather settings. Just click the plus sign and add our map, which is Barcelona. This is important because otherwise the blueprint error will pop up. After that, click Compile. And then save it. You can then close the window. Now what you can do is click Play again. The simulation will start and you'll see the error is no longer there. Next, go to the command prompt, and this time, we'll run the manual control again. We'll also spawn some other activities. Similarly, there's a Python program called generate underscore traffic dot py. Navigate to the Python API folder and then to the example folder. Run that Python script for generating vehicles. You'll see we have around 100 vehicles spawned, and they're all running. Now we'll put our car on autopilot and see how it behaves. It looks really nice, actually, with some lane changing happening here and there. Even in the Unreal Engine editor it seems nice, yeah? So that's the easiest method to import a map into the Carla simulator. There are other methods available too, like the manual import, and also using the rotor plugin, but this is the easiest for me. So yeah, if you'd like to try that, just comment in the comment section. I'll try to make a tutorial for that as well, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Subscribe to our channel for more videos coming soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.